guys, in today's episode, we will discuss about the solar system and the different planets. So guys, if you want to learn about more the solar system, you're in the right channel. Let's imagine for a moment that we could leave Earth and explore the solar system around it. And also the planet surrounds it. Do you know that the solar system consists of a star and planets around it? We call it the solar system because solar means something to do with the sun. Now let's discuss about the sun. Sun is star like many stars that we can see in the night sky. It gives heat and light and is always burning. Sun is the biggest object in the solar system but it looks so small because it's almost 93 million miles away from us. Did you know that the sun can fit 1 million Earth in it? Amazing! And imagine how big is the sun. Sun massive gravity holds the solar system together. The sun also allows us to live in Earth. If there is no sun, plants could not grow, water would freeze, and nothing could survive. Sun is a small star, but why do we see it so big and bright? Because Sun is the closest star in our planet. That's all for the Sun. Now let's explore the planet! Do you know that there's a secret how you can remember all eight planets? Just memorize this. My very excellent mom deserves us noodles! My is for Mercury, Berry is for Venus, Excellent is for Earth, Mom is for Mars, Just is for Jupiter, Serb is for Saturn, Us is for Uranus, and Noodles is for Neptune! Now let's differentiate the eight planets. Number one, Mercury. As we move away from the sun, the first planet we will encounter is Mercury! Mercury is the closest planet to the sun but is also the smallest planet. Only a little bit larger than the Earth's moon. Even though Mercury is the closest to the sun, it's still not the hottest planet. It's only the second hottest planet. It's made of rocks and metal and it has a hard surface. Mercury doesn't have any moon and no earth to breathe. For sure, you don't probably want to visit Mercury. But did you know there's an interesting fact about Mercury? And it's uh, the fastest planet to go around the sun. It only takes 88 days. Let's move on to the next planet, Venus! Venus is the second planet from the Sun and sixth largest in the solar system. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system but it's not closest planet to the Sun. The entire surface of Venus is covered by clouds! These clouds are made of carbon dioxide. Earth and Venus are mostly called sisters because they're similar in size, composition, gravity, and mass. Same with Mercury, it's not fun to visit Venus, but it's very beautiful to look at because she is the second brightest object in the sky. Only brighter is the moon. If you're looking at a sunrise or sunset and you see a bright star, it could be mostly Venus. Let's move on to the third planet, our home Earth. After Venus comes Earth, the third planet from the sun and the fifth largest planet in the solar system. It's our home planet and it's filled with life. This is where we live. Earth is the only planet that has water on its surface and oxygen gas in its air. Earth also has the perfect range of temperature for life. It's not too hot as Venus and not too cold as Neptune. Let's move on to the next planet, Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system. And it's about half the size of Earth. 
And Mars is also known as the red planet because of the iron dioxide that looks like grass. The atmosphere of Mars is mostly made of carbon dioxide. Mars is smaller than Venus but larger than Mercury. Did you know that scientists are so interested in Mars? Because they think that people could live there. Right now, there are robots exploring Mars and sending back information to Earth. Oops, I forgot. Mars has no moon. Let's move on to the next planet, Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system and it's the fifth planet from the sun. Also called as a gas giant planet because it's really big. Its surface is made of a thick layer of hydrogen gas. Jupiter is very bright to the sky but second to only to Venus. The planet is very similar to a star but it never got big enough to start burning. Did you know guys that Jupiter generates more heat than it receives from the sun? Amazing guys! Jupiter has rings surrounding it but they are very faint and hard to see. There's a lot of moons in Jupiter, at least 67, and 55 of them are very small. One of its moons is the largest moon in the solar system. Unfortunately, we cannot live on Jupiter because it's made of gas and no ground to land on. Let's move on to the sixth planet, Saturn! After Jupiter, Saturn comes next. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun. It is most famous for its beautiful giant ring. Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system after Jupiter. Saturn is made of hydrogen and mostly some helium. You couldn't stand on the surface of Saturn because its surface is made of hydrogen gas. One thing that is very interesting about Saturn, even though it's so large, it doesn't have that much density. Example, if you find a swimming pool that's large enough to fit Saturn, Saturn wouldn't sink. It will instead float. That's all for Saturn! Let's move on to the seventh planet, Renanius! Now let's discuss Renanius, the seventh planet from the sun. Renanius is a ice giant like its sister, Neptune. Renanius has the coldest atmosphere of all the planets in the solar system. The surface of Renanius is mostly made of some hydrogen gas and some helium gas that you couldn't even stand on. And Uranus has 27 known moons and Uranus is covered with a lovely color that is color, you guess it, blue! Let's move on to the last planet, Neptune! Neptune is the 8th and farthest planet from the sun and 4th largest planet. Neptune is much, much bigger than Earth. Neptune's atmosphere gives us a blue color, but the color of Neptune is darker than Uranus. Neptune is an ice giant planet like Uranus. This means that it has a gas surplus like the gas other planets. Since Neptune is an ice giant planet, there is no hard surplus to walk on like Earth. Did you know that Neptune has 14 known moons? Do you remember that Mercury only takes 88 days to go around the sun? Neptune takes 164 years to complete a rotation around the sun because it's really, really far. And that's all for Neptune. Let's not forget about Pluto. It's not considered as a planet because it's very, very, very small. Now let's conclude all the different eight planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Renaeus, and the final planet, Neptune! Thanks for watching guys. Goodbye! This is the end of the 
Solar System Video.